Hello, this is Alistair Walker, session clerk at the Old Parish Church again. I said last week I'd keep you up to date with developments and uh, innovations in the church here. Uh, quite a few things have happened over the past week, and I'm sure you're well aware of the changing situation nationally, and we've had to adapt our arrangements to cope with that. First things first, our support group of volunteers that I spoke about last week is now ready to swing into action. We've got a, a good number of people willing to uh, give telephone support and companionship from home, and I've got a smaller number who are fit and able to go out and do practical tasks for people such as collecting groceries or, or collecting prescriptions. Uh, people can be, uh, members can make contact with us through the church telephone number, through the website, through Facebook page, and, and these I'm sure are available to you fairly straightforwardly. All our volunteers, if, if you do ask for someone to come and deliver groceries for you or prescriptions, all our volunteers will have identification which should put your mind at rest as to their authenticity and no one will be calling uh, unexpectedly. Any time a volunteer does call at your house, it will be by, by arrangement with you and at your request. I say that because we're aware that there are some unscrupulous people going about pretending to be from the church to collect gift aid or free will offering envelopes. Can I say that we will not, from the church, be sending out anyone to collect money from you over this coming crisis. As I said, all our volunteers will have proper identification. Unfortunately, we won't be able to print our church magazine this week. It would involve people uh, going out and about, going to the office to uh, print the magazine and getting, getting it delivered to you. And uh, with the current restrictions on travel, uh, then, then that is not uh, allowable. Uh, we're trying to use all the different means of communication that we have. That's Facebook, our uh, website. Uh, I'll be writing a letter to you, which you'll get fairly soon, giving a bit more detail of some of our arrangements. But uh, the important thing is to remember that although our buildings are closed, we're still a faithful community. And it's important that we keep in touch with one another, give each other support. So at the end of this crisis, when things do subside and we get back to normal, we're still the warm, welcoming community of faith that we know and love. Thank you.